Hi, a very good morning to all of you. Okay, uh, so today uh, we have another institution, another university opening up their registration portal for CUD PG 2024 admissions. Okay. So today we have uh, JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University, who have started their registration portal for this year's academic session. Okay. Uh, so I'll, as usual, I'll start it, start right from scratch, right from Google, from where you can literally search the entire registration link and everything and other details so that it is convenient and easy for all of you. Okay. Uh, you need to simply go to Google and type JNU 2024 admission. Okay. Uh, the moment you scroll down, so you will find two of these options. Take it. Pehla hai aapka admission block. The other one is JNU admission 2024. Take it. Dono hi completely different uh, uh, link to hai, of course, but dono hi different information aapko provide karte hai related to your uh, PG registration. Take it. Uh, along with that, uh, because kafi students, uh, uh, they have certain queries related to JNU. Okay. So right on the right side of the screen, you can see the notable alumni, right? You have our Honorable Finance Minister, Honorable uh, External Minister as well, right? So these are the notable alumni, right? So this is something uh, I thought of just highlighting, okay? because uh, many of the students want a different perspective or they have a different perspective about JNU. But at the end of the day, uh, you have some of the grades coming out of JNU. Again, it's one of India's most renowned universities, no doubt. And in fact, uh, coincidentally, uh, right below the notable alumni, you can find the NIRF rankings. TK. So there also you can find ki ISEC Bangalore ke niche only on the second position you have JNU. In terms of a university overall, uh, you can have different version depending upon different information you get. But in general, JNU is without a doubt one of one of the best options to pursue your master's degree. Okay. So wanted to uh, share that. Okay. Now coming to the actual part, which is your registration. Okay. Pehle shuruat karte from the very first link, right? So when you will click on this admission block, okay. So this is the Web, uh, web page that will open up. Okay. When you first link, pe click karoge, so this is the web page that opens up. Yahan pe, uh, the information that differs from that is that pe they have shared the official notice of JNU for inviting applications for PG program 2024 and 2025. Okay. So, the moment you click on this particular link, then you will web page. This is the next page. When you click on this link, pe click karte ho, which is clearly notice for inviting applications, then you will notice your notice. Why, why is this uh, important in the sense? Because uh, the information that you have shared in this notice is through JNU. Hai? As you can see, the notice is dated 29th of April, which was yesterday. Okay. That is the reason the registration started yesterday itself a bit late at around 10. We did share the information with all of you on our official EarthaPoint Telegram group. Okay. If you haven't joined, please join. Karlo. I'll put it in the comment section and pin it so, so that you can just uh, access the Telegram group by clicking on the Telegram link. Okay. Still, if not able to find, just drop us a WhatsApp. I'll share the Telegram group ka link. All the information as quick as possible, you will find over there. Okay. Now, coming to the notice, right? So, it is for inviting online application for PG program 2425. Now, sub say important at times, even before you start the registration, I don't know for what reason, but is key what is the last date? Okay. Start to ho gaya, but what is the last date? So, the last date in this case is 27th of May, right? 27th of May is the last date of registration for JNU admissions. 25th of May, again, it's for Delhi University. 25th of May is the last date of registration for Delhi University. Though then bad, it is JNU. Okay. So just because so I remember, so I shared that with you. Okay. So this is one point. Then to apply, you need to visit the 
jnoe.jne.ac wo jo portal hai i'll just share that with you with your nt application number jo aapka cut ka application number hai date of birth as user id and password respectively theek hai uh, prospectus is also there we will just go through that as well and applicants and the eligibility criteria details theek hai of course uh, being very cautious ki agar aap apply kar rahe ho to please usse pehle ek bari you go through the eligibility criteria for the respective course for which you are applying ठीक है, so great, the notice is sorted, let's just cross this notice, और हमारा पहला लिंक का काम is done, ठीक है, which was your admission block, अब अभी आपने देखा होगा, in the notice it was mentioned the the link of the registration portal, ठीक है, so this was the link jnuee dot jnu dot ac dot in, ठीक है, the moment you click on this, you will be coming to this particular web page. Take care. I'll just show you directly as well. Take care. So this is the entire admission page. Here are all the things you starting with the registration link, uh, prospectus, and of course the cutoffs per second, third, whatever will remain, all the information will remain. So if you want, you can just simply bookmark this particular web page. Right? Now, Prospectus CRA, we have already opened up. Take care. We have already opened up. But we have simply done it. Which is the registration link. So, here you will click on this. You will see that this is the registration. I open it separately as well. Take care. So, this is the GNU CUD PG admission link. Here you will go. You will start with registration. Right? बेसिक चीजें हैं स्टेप 1 इज पर्सनल बेसिकली दे हैव हाइलाइटेड यहीं पे सारी चीजें आपके लिए सो दैट इट्स कन्वीनिएंट फॉर यू डोंट फॉरगेट टू हैव अ फोल्डर ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप के डेस्कटॉप पे जिसमें आपका फोटो साइन आधार पैन ये जो भी डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैं सबका एक कॉपी उसमें होना चाहिए सो दैट इट्स इजी फॉर यू राइट नाउ स्टेप 1 इज रिलेटेड टू योर पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन और डिटेल्स स्टेप 2 इज रिलेटेड टू योर क्वालिफिकेशन व्हिच विल बी एकेडमिक थर्ड इज Scanned images of photograph and signatures. Okay. Make sure they are within this range of 10 to 200 KB for the photo. For the sign, it is even less, which is 4 to 30 KB for the signature image. Okay. Nahi ho pata, go and compress it online. Bohat sare free tools hai. You can do that quite easily. Okay. The image, of course, should be in JPG or JPEG format, JPEG format, whichever you want to call it. So in two formats may he ho sakti hai image or ye range hai in ke under huna chahiye wo respective uh, images. Tick hai. Now uh, there you have uh, the third step and fourth step is but obvious your fee payment. Tick hai. Again I'll repeat myself. Jab application complete kar lo make sure aap uska PDF save karo. Second jab aap fee payment karo make sure aap uska receipt bhi save karo. Dono documents आपके डेस्कटॉप पे जेएनयू फोल्डर के नाम से उसके अंदर दोनों डॉक्यूमेंट्स होने चाहिए दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है मेक इट अ हैबिट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड राइट सो भैया यहां से आप शुरू करोगे अब द अनदर पॉइंट इज कि अभी जब बच्चे रजिस्टर uh, करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं राइट सो द दिस इज द रजिस्ट्रेशन पोर्टल इजंट रिस्पोंडिंग दैट वेल ठीक है कहीं-कहीं कुछ एरर्स आ रहे हैं रिलेटेड टू uh, the paying of fees, pehla. then some of the students are not able to receive the OTPs. Okay, or a core error here. Let me just share that once. Mm, one second. So, yep. Ha. So, you, you, an OTP is one common error, fees one is another one, and usually these are the two errors which all of you are. Facing, yep, yep, right. So these are the two errors, but I think that should be sorted uh, in in if not hours in couple of days, mota mota. Else, uh, just give it a hit and trial by opening the uh, registration portal on any other browser. ठीक है वहाँ पे देखो क्या is it working fine or smooth, right? So एक वो तरीका हो गया वो just wait for a day or so. Because the moment it goes live, thoda sa glitch ho sakta hai for a day or so, but it's sorted immediately. Matlab, so, need not worry, you will be able to register. Right? 
and of course 27 is the last date right now uh, overall this is the entire uh, stream of steps that you need to take starting from right from google to step four making fee payment getting a pdf of all the documents required okay ab aa jate hain prospectus pe theek hai uh, ek aur cheez because the process has just now started agar kuch bhi kisi bhi particular ya option mein aapko problem aati hai कुछ भी है तो आप प्लीज व्हाट्सएप ड्रॉप कर सकते हो ऑन आर ऑफिशियल नंबर विच इज एट थ्री सिक्स एट सिक्स सिक्स थ्री नाइन फाइव जीरो ठीक है इफ यू वांट आई जस्ट पुट इट अलोंग विद द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप का लिंक एंड देन फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन कांटेक्ट अस या आप वेबसाइट पे जाके वहां से नंबर से आप कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हो ठीक है बाय नाउ आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव दैट नंबर एज वेल आई नीड नॉट हैव टू रिपीट राइट ठीक है so now coming to the e prospectus thoda sa just we'll go through ki what it because ye jo prospectus hai that was available a month back as well theek hai so we have already discussed a bit of it theek hai ha one point that we discussed in detail was deprivation point agar aapne nahi dekha hai deprivation points ka session to please do check out uh, we have tried to explain it in the best possible manner maximum 12 marks or points you can get through deprivation so please do check out that video for sure because wo aapke score mein add hone ke baad ek uh, alag hi value add karega to the entire score right so that's the point so that's it uh, yes let's just check ek bari agar there is any other information ha aap apna eligibility criteria yahan pe check kar sakte ho right ये रहा आपका एस आई एस स्कूल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टडीज दैट इज वन ऑफ द कोर्सेस ठीक है हेर इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया राइट विच यू कैन क्रॉस चेक और यहाँ पे इफ यू सी की प्लस टू में मैथ्स होना चाहिए दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन और वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन दैट स्टूडेंट गो फॉर दी अदर प्रोग्राम ऑफ जे एन यू विच इज एस 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 ठीक है फॉर एस आई एस यू रिक्वायर प्लस टू का मैथ्स एन आई एस इन ट्रिपल एस यू डोंट रिक्वायर इट ठीक है So before registering, make sure आप पूरा eligibility criteria cross check कर लो ठीक है So here is the eligibility criteria for you for SIS. That's one of the programs. ठीक है Bachelor's fifty percent marks, honors with maths as subsidiary subjects. So they have focus on maths. That's why SIS में maths is an important element. Plus two में भी they have mentioned if I'm not wrong. Yeah, applicant must have Plus two may maths and undergraduate level of maths, so you can't skip maths in case of JNU SIS. Okay. Uh, then the other one was your okay SIS we have done. Then we'll go to the triple S, the other program that is being offered at JNU for. Economics, ठीक है. Going at a very faster pace, right? Ah. Okay. So this is the one. Okay, the code is Ecom two hundred and sixteen. Paper code is again COQP ten. And यहाँ पे हाँ अगर आप यहाँ पे देखो uh, look at the eligibility criteria. So it says, of course, your bachelor's in a pattern of ten two three. Which is tenth, twelfth, and a bachelor's of three years with at least fifty percent marks. Now, the interesting part is they say the knowledge of mathematics at plus two level is expected and will be tested in the entrance examination. So the eligibility criteria doesn't mandate you to have a plus two maths. Okay, what they are trying to tell you is that your plus two ka maths will be tested in the entrance exam. Okay, so. That's the only point. There is no mandatory requirement of plus two ka maths in this particular option, which is Ecom two sixty paper code. Jo unhone diya. So overall, these are the two uh, options you have for masters in economics at JNU. These are the eligibility criteria. Okay, and uh, we have already gone through the registration thing. We have already gone through the last date, which is twenty seventh of May. so everything is sorted now but in case still if there is any issue at any point while filling up the 
form theek hai then you feel free to connect with us over whatsapp and we'll look into that theek hai thank you so much guys for joining in and we'll meet in subsequent session